Therapy is not only for when you are having a mental breakdown. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am trying something different today. As you know, I have a podcast called Cafe with Monica and I'm actually going to combine um, the podcast and the YouTube channel just for this video. I'm trying this out. Um, I wanted to make a video version of the podcast episode that I'm going to release. I was like, why don't I do it at the same time? Save myself time. So if you're interested in listening to just the audio version, you can go ahead and click down in the description below uh, for the podcast link. You can find Cafe with Monica on all podcast platforms. And so let's get into the video. So in today's episode, I'm actually going to talk about all the reasons why entrepreneurs should go to therapy. I think entrepreneurs are the first people who believe that they shouldn't go to therapy because usually entrepreneurs are high overachievers or people who just like to solve it all by themselves. And this is very true for new entrepreneurs. I feel like once you've been in the game, you learn a lot more about yourself and you learn more about what it is like to run a business. But if you're starting off new, there could be a lot of challenges. Often your new business will become your top priority. And then that means that other things are not as focused um, as you would like them to be. So I wanted to chat with you guys about some of the reasons why I believe you should go to therapy. If you're a entrepreneur, content creator, YouTuber, whatever it is that you resonate with the most, at the end of the day, you're running a business. At the end of the day, it could be overwhelming to sustain constantly putting content out there. So I kind of wanted to share some of my reasons. If you didn't know, 79% of entrepreneurs are affected with mental health issues, mental health concerns, and it can be very debilitating. We don't we don't realize how much entrepreneurs are very vulnerable to mental health concerns, mental health illnesses because of the nature of being an entrepreneur. So here's some of the reasons why I think you should go to therapy. Number one, therapy can really help entrepreneurs build better boundaries. Boundaries are so important. As an entrepreneur and you're the one working on your business day in and day out, it could be really easy not to have those hard stops to continuously work um, long hours. It could be really easy to just keep going and have no level of healthy boundaries about when you're separating work from your personal life. Oftentimes I find entrepreneurs have a hard time um, separating those things and it's because they often feel like if they're not in their business, working on it, that things will fall apart. And we can kind of see that as maybe someone who is really struggling with anxiety um, because of, of course, being an entrepreneur, there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of anxiety. So making sure that you're having those healthy boundaries, that you are able to communicate these with your clients or even boundaries with yourself of like, when, if I'm not feeling okay, um, do I show up today? You know, is that going to be productive for me to show up when I'm exhausted? Um, those are the things that you need to start asking yourself because this can really clarify, like, do I or do I not have healthy boundaries? Do I push through? I don't know about you, but I, um, I grew up being told just push through so that you can continue working and finish and then you can rest, right? So we tend to feel like we have to finish our work or earn our rest and that's definitely not the case. Another thing about making sure that you have healthy boundaries, it is the ability to learn how to say no. Now, I myself struggled with saying no, recovering people pleaser, recovering perfectionist, and it's so powerful to say no. It's also very powerful to say yes. But if you don't know what your threshold of tolerance, meaning what is your, what are you willing to allow and not allow when it comes to being a business owner? Um, and so it's important that those are things that you talk about and often it could be going to therapy can really help you see like well where does this come from like has this been me all along um has entrepreneurship just brought it a little bit harder for me to set these healthy boundaries what are are my needs being met and therefore i am stressing myself out often i see people 
have a hard time setting boundaries because there's the financial aspect of if I am if I just don't say no, then I'm going to get more clients. But then you're starting to work with people who are not your ideal clients, who um, have a lot of unrealistic expectations. And again, it's because you didn't set boundaries. So therapy can really help you get clear on what that is, where that comes from, and how to help you heal from being a people pleaser. And remember, when you're constantly overcompensating and overcommitting, there is no room for creativity. You're often depleted of your creativity. So it is a good thing to go to therapy to see what's going on. What kind of boundaries do we need to set in place so that we are successful business owners and we are building a sustainable business. Another reason you should go to therapy is because you can get help with perfectionism. If you are a perfectionist, you have a hard time. You have so many ideas, right? But you have such a hard time really seeing those ideas through. You have a hard time um, most of the time perfectionists, um, while they have like type A personalities, sometimes they are probably the people who procrastinate the most because they want to make things perfect. They want to prevent, um, from making a mistake or from failing. And that could be very detrimental for a business because then you're never putting out things. You're constantly questioning yourself, doubting yourself, ruminating about, you know, all the things that you should be doing. And it's not helpful. This is what consumes people, then we it starts leading to symptoms of depression, symptoms of anxiety, and at some point you become so burned out because you're not able to truly put out the work that you want to do, or you're constantly putting out work, but it's taking you hours to create it because you're stuck in the perfectionist cycle. So just keep that in mind. Like there are a variety of things that you can work with your therapist um, in help in helping with some of these perfectionist tendencies that are showing up in your business. The next reason you should go to therapy is because it could help you with a delegation and it Helping yourself to learning how to delegate successfully is going to help your overall business strategy. It's going to help with your workload. The number one thing I hear from my clients is, well, if I want to get it done right, I have to do it myself. And that statement can really be debilitating because then you're the one solely responsible for every single thing. And you don't, you don't, become or embrace being a CEO, you're just the worker in your business, right? You're basically just a slave to yourself. You're probably the worst boss to yourself because you're giving yourself unrealistic expectations. So really having that other a therapist or that other person professional to help you out, like, why am I not freeing myself from delegation? This could come from fear of giving control. And so it's important that we talk about those things. Like how can we start releasing control? How can we start exposing ourselves to learning how to tolerate um, other people coming into our business? How do we know when we're hiring the right person? Um, who is, how do we know we're going to be supported, right? What are the things that we want to feel when we delegate things um, to people um, or when we're hiring uh, people to support us in our business? So it's really important. Therapy can help you with learning how to delegate and again, overall help your business strategy. Another reason why you should go to therapy is to learn how to prioritize yourself. Like I mentioned in the beginning, entrepreneurs have such a hard time prioritizing themselves. They often have a hard time separating their business self from their personal self and learning how to prioritize yourself, learning that you are as well in need of self-care and rest is so important. And often maybe you haven't heard that you are allowed to prioritize yourself. Maybe you're still associating prioritizing yourself with being selfish. That's often what I hear from other entrepreneurs that if I'm prioritizing myself, I'm being hella selfish. And that's really not the case, right? Taking care of yourself is a it's your right to take care of yourself. It's your right to be able to nourish your body, to take care of your mind, to have breaks. But when we tell ourselves that we can't, when we slave ourselves to the work and the to-do list that we have, it's not healthy. And again, this can bring up a lot of mental health issues in the long run, right? Leading to depression, leading to anxiety, and letting 
you know, ultimately to burnout and then it'll be hard to sustain your business. So prioritizing yourself is one of the most important things you can do as an entrepreneur, content creator, YouTube, YouTuber, um, because it's going to be the one that is going to give you the most energy back. You know, our businesses take so much of our energy sometimes. And while we love them and we can feel passion and inspiration in creating content, it could be really hard to prioritize ourselves and when prioritizing ourselves comes from our unwillingness to let go it's you know it's not going to end well so it's important that we prioritize ourselves the final reason why i think you should go to therapy is because therapy can help you fully embrace your authenticity I have learned that when we start a business, we often start it from passion, but we also start it to make money. I mean, like, let's be real. And if we're so consumed with the idea of wanting to make money, it could be very easy to say yes to things that we don't truly believe in. Maybe that brand partnership that we're not really into right we're not really into that brand um or maybe you accept a client that isn't aligned and now you're feeling like you can't be authentic you start not showing up on instagram stories or your tiktoks or anything like that you start feeling like you're not being yourself and it often means it's because you're going against some of your values so in therapy we explore values why are they important to you and how can you make sure that you are living true to your values and how to make sure that you're being honest with yourself um, when you accept things that are outside of your alignment so that you can truly tell yourself, okay, the next time this happens, this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to prevent this from happening. This is how I'm going to stay in alignment with my values, but it's only important if you explore it. The best thing that you could do as an entrepreneur is to get help with being more introspective and reflecting, learning from your mistakes, which could often be really hard if you just want to go, go, go. But we learn from our mistakes. If we do not reflect on them, if we're just constantly feeling like we got to be throwing spaghetti to see what sticks, it's not going to work. So I really encourage you to think about all of these different reasons why you should go to therapy. And let me know if you've been thinking about going to therapy, be, let me know down in the comments like what is the one thing that you really want to get out of therapy what scares you um, maybe I'll do another episode or video on what it's like being um, in therapy as an entrepreneur what are some of the topics that you can bring up in therapy um, how to prepare for your first uh, appointment let me know because I really want to help support you in this journey I know it's really hard I mean believe me I had a hard time uh, accepting that oh you know I'm doing well in business I shouldn't be in therapy but here's the thing therapy is not only for when you are having a mental breakdown it is best it is part of your self-care it could be part of your self-care routine it could be the outlet that you have to really help you just sustain your mental health and mental capacity and your therapist is going to be really honest with you um, if you're getting someone who is very direct with you and can tell you like mm -hmm. we're, we're regressing we're coming back to behaviors that no longer serve us so I hope that you found this episode video helpful. Again, if you're listening to the audio version, check out the video version on YouTube. And if you're listening to the YouTube uh, video and you're like, oh, I want to finish this video, but I don't have time, go down to the podcast and listen to just the audio. So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. And I hope I see you in my next episode.